Sevierville, Tennessee is near Pigeon Forge, Tennessee, and it's the home of Dolly Parton. Uh, Dollywood is nearby. We went to Texas recently for a family reunion, but we didn't have time to stop at the Coleman factory outlet, which, you know, we needed some new camp stoves because ours are falling apart. And we thought maybe we could get a good deal there, right? So on the way back from Texas, we made a special stop there just to go there. And it was quite a visit. So why don't you join us as we visit the Coleman Factory Outlet Store in Sevierville, Tennessee. Every store has to start with a door, right? Oh my God, look at all the stuff in here. This place is cool. They got clothes. They got all kinds of things in here. Now what's kind of cool about uh, the Coleman Factory Outlet Store uh, near the uh, Great Smoky Mountains is they're part, uh, partners with the Appalachian Bear Rescue. So in other words, they solicit uh, donations that the Appalachian Bear uh, Rescue can use to help orphaned bears, uh, you know, survive and then get released back into the uh, wild once they're healthy again. Well, I remember we had a red one no. growing up. No, I don't. Like that. Uh -huh. Look at that little winner. Uh -huh. So here's the camp stoves. Hyper flame, those are pretty awesome. What's hyper flame? So, so we gotta see the prices on these. Here's your basic propane stove for 39. Normally 69. There's that one. I kinda like that one. How do you grill on this without that being a mess? Well, I mean, it's going to drip down and go into this hole, so it's going to collect. If you got a tuna can down there or something to catch it, still going to be a mess. Well, the heat source is right here, so this metal here it's going to get hot. These guys not so much. So unless it shoots the flame out quite a bit, which it could, then it would cook in the middle. I don't know. I don't know if that's like. This is the old style. We got pump. I don't know what you pump. We used to have these when I was a kid. Oh, uh, yeah, I'd be scared to use those. This one's 89. Yeah, what I like about it is there's more room here well, yeah, it's for about, stuff. I mean, it's about, but it's like half off. It's 69. And it's 28,000 BT. Okay. What's the $10 more here? Other than well, the burner's different. In what way? The knobs are over here on the far right. Over here, the knobs are No, but look how the burner is here. You can remove this. This one's like stuck on the freaking... Well, what do you mean it's stuck on like that? You know we got some of this zip tied in place, too. Yeah, well, I like that burner better. Uh, you like this? Yeah. Hmm. Okay, we decided on the even temp for 89 and the Triton for 49. But we're going to do a little uh, deck cooking with this. Yeah. some coolers full of fake products for demo purposes. This aisle's got a bunch of rugged knives and scissors and stuff. Bungee cords. Ooh, those are some heavy duty bungee cords right there. That's a lot better than Walmart ones, right? Here's like a bunch of coolers. Like these are big coolers. 
And then they got some metal stuff. I don't know what these are. Oh, they're basically using these things as storage for products. They're totally unrelated. Got some um, towing straps. Those are always a winner. We got more miscellaneous tools. Um, ooh. We got some wasp hornet spray here. I'll keep them guys away. Here's some um, more bungee cords. These things here are only like $3. Normally a lot more. So, yeah, half price. I like that. Might pick me up a pack. Got some camo gear. Over here we've got some, I don't know, stuff to drink out of. So these are like different thermoses, different containers to pour your stuff in. Pretty good price, 20% off on all this stuff. I like that. So normally like 25 is 19, or normally 19 is 16. I know. All right, we'll go see what Amy found. Got some rain clothes here to keep yourself dry. Yeehaw, right? Oh, his and her rain suits. Gotta love that. I oh, don't know, Amy found more stuff. What? So you like this uh, party stacker. This is basically something you can put all kinds of ice water, Kool-Aid, iced tea, special tea, special lemonade, whatever turns you on. Cooler than dollars. Kool-Aid. It's $14, normally $22. Holds how much? Holds two gallons. This guy here is even cheaper. No, oh. It's on sale for oh, it's on sale for eleven ninety eight. Wow, that's kind of cool. So I think uh, Amy just picked herself up one. Hey, boo boo, we got some bungee cords back there. You might want to consider, especially considering the latch. Yeah, look at this. On these things. Oh, that cookbook looks familiar. I think we got one of those over at that uh, Ollie um, discount store. All right, other parts of the store. They got clothing, flannel shirts, and stuff. Got some outfits. These are Coleman line shirt jackets for 30 bucks. Uh, oops, sorry. We got some Coleman cargo pants. Yeehaw. Prices are not bad at all. Could have come here before we went to cold, right? Power chill. These are what? Iceless. Hot cold thermal electric coolers. All right, I like that. They say these are iceless. So maybe that prevents it from being a mess. They got plenty here, right? We got this whole wall full. Plus, we got more clothes, more clothes, and more stuff in the background there. Here are some things that caught Amy's attention. Look at all of these uh, lights. I mean, if you go into like a Target or a Walmart, you're gonna see a couple of you know camp lights, but they got all kinds here. So this is pretty cool, right? Amy, of course, like this one. I don't know. Looks kind of cute. Reminds me of a bird feeder. I don't know. And then you know they got these camp stoves. This one here, this hyper. It looks all shiny. I mean the burner's all pretty and stuff, but I don't know what's the big deal with it. I mean they want a lot of money for it, but. Does it put out a lot more heat or is it just, I don't know, it's pretty. Here's another picture of um, another one here. Uh, this looks like the one that uh, we ended up uh, buying here. And then here's a just a regular one, I suppose. Um, not too fancy looking. And of course, all stories got to come to an end, right? Usually with a cha-ching. So uh, pull out the wallet, boo. That good old time there. So I just want to say thank you for um, shopping with us at the Coleman Factory Outlet Store. Uh, it was lots of fun. We ended up picking up a couple of camp stoves that we really needed because, you know, our Coleman basically broke. If you're near a Coleman uh, Outlet Store, stop in. They're uh, pretty interesting. And if you go camping, you never know what you need, right? We got some bungee cords, so uh, I'm happy. Our next upload will have the unboxing of the 
um, camp stoves that we bought. So be sure to check that out too. If you like this show, subscribe and give us a comment and give us a thumbs up. And visit our website at amylearnstocook.com. We're on Pinterest and Twitter at Amy Learns to Cook and Instagram with Cooking with Amy.